Hi, I'm following along with Paul McCorder's Raspberry Pi lessons, and we're on number 47, where we're playing with the Pi camera, open CV, and putting rectangles and circles on the screen. Um, our homework for today was to make the rectangle bounce around the screen, uh, switching directions when they hit a, a corner, I mean, or an edge. So anyhow, um, let's get to it. I'm on VNC. So, um, this is review for me. I took his uh, OpenCV lessons on the PC. So, uh, uh, but it's good to review on this. So, uh, it's pretty much the same thing that Paul had. He got his rectangle, and uh, I just got different variable names, sizes, and everything. Um, and, uh, one thing I did, I got away. I don't like using tuples because sometimes you can't do math on them, right? So I change them into lists. They work the same, and you can do math on them. So that's a good thing. I left the uh, colors as a tuple because we're not going to change them too much. But anyhow, um, <clears throat> so the part that takes and bounces it around the screen. I added a variable to his where it says move and it's 10 pixels across. It goes 10 pixels and by 10 pixels. So every time, every frame it's moving 10 pixels. So that's what you can put whatever you want in there, but that seemed to be a good speed for me. Um, and this is the code that does it. And uh, um, I, I, I do a for loop to iterate over the, with and then but you're doing the same math on the height as well so i'm doing it on each of the dimensions uh, zero is the width and one is the height so we got that so um basically you're moving it each time you're moving it and then you have to check and see if it's hit the uh, right hand side of the screen and then if it has then you uh multiply your move variable by negative one so if it was a 10 it's going to become a negative 10 so it's going to bounce and go the other direction plus you put the thing back on the screen in the right place you don't want it off the screen and you do the same thing for the left hand side if it's zero you uh, bounce it the other way and uh, make sure that it's on the screen um that's about all there is to it. And then you just make the rectangle. And uh, instead of putting the lower left down here, I calculate it using, I have uh, made a couple of variables, zero and one for W and H. So I can uh, keep in my mind which one I'm working with here. So um, the upper left width plus the rectangular width is, uh, with the low, you know, that's the uh, width part of it, and then the height plus the height, and uh, that gets it just works out. So, all right, let's get it running. So, basically, you just got a I'm working with a Pi 3, and I got 12 frames per second, but uh, my um, VNC is a little jerky today. Must be a connection problem on my Wi-Fi or something. Uh, it looks better on a, on the regular screen. I'm just using this to the VNC into it. So got that done. I said, well, what else could I do to step my homework up a little bit since this was review? So I decided to put a ball inside a rectangle and have it moving too, but having it move in reference to the rectangle. So we'll cue out of this. And we'll switch over to our two shape. So the rectangle part's all the same. And the only thing I did was um, added just about the same code here for circle 
for a circle inside of the rectangle. Only thing is, instead of using the frame as my bounds, I'm using the bounds of the rectangle. So these calculations are made uh, separate from where the rectangle is on the screen. Um, it's just using the dimensions of the rectangle as our bounds. And then uh, when we actually place it, we're doing that down here with the, uh, we're taking our upper left and we're adding the positions to them and uh, the circle positions to them so that, you know, it's in the screen. So we'll show that running now too. Turned out pretty good, I think. And now we got the rectangle moving and we got this circle moving too and it stays inside the bounds of the thing. It looks a lot smoother. Like I said, we're getting 12 frames a second. It looks good on the uh, Pi uh, uh, monitor that I got, but VNC and into it, it just makes it a little jerky. Anyhow, that's my homework for today, uh, review, and uh, had to add a little to step up my game a little bit. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thanks, Paul, for all you do.